into the site audit function site audit means that it helps you to identify health or any errors in your website which are technical could be security or misconfiguration or any technical related problems within your website site audit tool will help you to figure it out in order to set it up you just need to click on setup and it will open up a pop-up again for you where basically you set up the settings or audit settings on how it should be crawled when you be uh, doing it for your website basically the first one is something called scope basically it, you are saying that i want all the web pages and all the resources within this website to be crawled this will be the most used for most of the people but in case you have some customization something like you want to have let's say for example i'm clicking on the example it shows that instead of the root domain you want only a subdomain to be crawled you can do that as well or if you want to have a subfolder only to be crawled you can do that as well so you can see the examples and based on this example you can figure it out how you want to set it up for your need but i would recommend or for most of you it will be like just the root domain so i'm going to click keep it in root domain and this is where the number of pages for the crawl like you can set it up i only want a hundred page to be crawled or you can go depending on your need basically this gives the limit for the project to crawl up to maximum this number of website it can be for various reasons you can choose different uh, numbers for website load or only concentrated on few urls at a time or you can you can do all the url for example i can choose something like 10000 because i know that there is no 10000 pages on my website but instead still i can keep it as a 10000 limit so i know that all of my web pages is going to be crawled so i can limit the pages as here and i can set up the crawl source here also it's a bit technical most of you guys won't need it because most of you can leave it as website itself because that is the normal way of crawling the website but in case if you want to find all the web pages from the sitemap you can set it up as that as the possibility for example rather than directly going to the website and trying to find all the web pages go to website find the sitemap within the website and find all the pages through the sitemap or you can give your own sitemap url if you want to crawl through the sitemap url you can give that or instead if you have a list of urls where you just want to crawl all those web pages url you are going to provide and give an analysis on that you can do that as well so depending on your need you can switch it up but for most it will be just website here as well the second step is the crawler setting here also it's a bit uh, technical uh, but just to give you an idea basically every crawler will have a user agent uh, like uh, identifying who's the person who making all this request and everything where you have something called sidebot or sidebot it might show in your traffic analytics uh, when you are tracking all these visitors for your website so i would recommend is to keep either google bot desktop or google bot mobile in case most of your website or you are concerned about performance issue on the mobile choose between one of this the reason i'm saying to recommend this is that uh, it will help you to for example you are doing all the organic stuff because google is the number one king on search engine market most of the traffic is going to be coming for it so when you are doing crawling also it's really good to emulate google because you know if there's any problem discovered that most of the chance most of the time it will be the same problem google bot is facing when they are crawling our website so it's good to keep it as a user agent as google bot itself to get much more optimal uh, performance when it comes to google search engine ranking and crawl delay is something like for example when you said minimum delay it means like it's going to go really fast when it uh, looking for web pages so if you think it's going to trigger some security measures or if you uh, think, don't want to load your website too much ideally you should not be using this but most of the time it will be uh, suitable for most website because if it's a small website it's going to quickly go through all the pages and done, do it quickly but in case if you encounter some issues you can obviously go for the this one where it's going to be one url per two seconds so it's going to limit and 
scroll all the things but it's going to take too much time to finish compared to something like this so depending on your need you can do and respect also for example robot text is something like an advanced technical uh, strategy in seo where we can filter out and say that i don't want I, you can see it give instructions to crawler or any bot which is crawling your websites instructions saying I don't want you to go through these web pages I don't want to go want you to go through these particular folders you can control your website architecture like that the reason is sometimes you don't want some of the web pages or sections of the folder being indexed on Google can be because of private uh, in, um, web pages or confidential or something like a dynamic uh, confident uh, web pages or any number of reasons can be depending on that if you want to respect the crawler because most of the something like google they will do respect it so depending on your need you can set it up here as well allow and disallow is also gives you an advanced control most of you won't need to use this but in case if you want to allow or crawl only the pages containing a specific word or link uh, para, uh, we call it as a parameter link param, perma link so if you want to do something like i want to do a scan only on the urls which containing that word you can do that or you can say i don't want to do a crawl to any urls containing this particular word you can do that as well from here you can they it also shows several examples on how to use this through here as well the next one is to remove url parameter you might uh, uh, experience this issue in case if you have an e-commerce website or website with something like a directory or a search capability with a lot of filters you will see that something like a, a page and they will put something like once you set up some filters or search something with filters you will see something like question mark and filter name and filter value which typically means that that is a dynamically generated page obviously so if you don't want to consider those pages as separate pages you can set up all those instructions here as well and here the next one is the bypassed with a website restriction basically means that I'm saying that do not respect uh, robot text or robot meta. Like I told you, right? We can define and say do not do this. It's more like a request to the user. We can't totally control it. So in case if you want our bot to be over go through that and you don't care about those restrictions and just crawl everything, you can set it up as you want. My advice: don't do this because it's not useless, uh, useful when you are looking for ranking because if it's something on google a robot text is disabled obviously google is also most of the time not going to crawl that as well and in case if you have a private website or a uh, website is still not available publicly you just give the username and password when it asks for the permission and smrush will use that to crawl the website and finally schedule do you if you want to schedule this daily or weekly depending on your need or just once depending on your need the reason is once you do this uh, crawl it will show all the errors for you so when you keep on fixing this issue whenever a new report is run you will automatically notice the progress it will track all the changes being done so you can get an idea on it and also you can keep a schedule on it so ideally i would recommend once every week is really good you don't need it daily so just keep it something which is like every monday or something which is really good uh, recommended so, uh, setting for you and also if you want to receive every time an uh, audit is done you can obviously do that i can take it off so once that is done and oh, let me see what uh, i'm missing uh, uh, obviously i'm missing something uh, sorry about this guys i need to take it out because this is a public website once that is done i need to click on start site audit now it will set up the project and start crawling through my website to identify all the technical issues within this so let me wait until this goes to a different page you can see it automatically starts working towards it. it's already gone and found five pages and it will keep on finding more pages i will get back to it once i cover other modules as well i'm going into the site audit section and you can see now it has loaded it shows that 
uh, the it's currently 76 percentage okay and it shows the number of errors it found number of warning and notices basically errors are the main thing which you should start focusing on fixing it warning is like these could be improved and notices are something like it's not essential but just to keep an idea on these do exist and you can see some other data is also shown here what are the issues and crawlability what is my percentage the reports different uh, problems within the issues and it shows and if i go into the issues tab here now i can get in much more in-depth data on what kind of issues happening for example first the biggest one for me is the internal links are broken which is usually you can fix it quickly because this is one of the common errors you will see for most of the website and if you hover over any of this particular sections they will explain whatever the issues they will explain the issue and how to fix it so for example the problem here seems to be my author profile which is it's removed so ideally what i need to do it i need to go inside this and fix this link so i will automatically remove all this issue with one hand so depending on different um, based on your website these issues will be different for every single website so you go through it you see there is um, this particular instruction snippet or go into the google or website and search for it and try to fix this and you can see six pages have written this and it shows how and why should i fix it by this page and i know how to fix this and you can see what are the need, things need to be fixed so that is where issues it shows all the different issues and crawl page in, in case you want to see more details on crawl page depth obviously if you are a beginner for seo you might not need to uh, look into it it's much more advanced on allocating crawl budget and how much importance need to be given for each single url but just it's there and if you need to see a structure of your website you can obviously see how the content are located where the content are located give to give you a bit more ideas on it statistic shows an overview statistic of what kind of percentage is in what kind of data it's able to find and if you want to see a graph data that is also possible here compare crawl is where you can compare uh, today's crawl with another crawl which can be happening on a later date so with this you can obviously monitor all the issues and in case if you are fixing anything that also will be updated within different crawls so you all this will be monitored within the progress so you do know okay these are the things are uh, identified i fix those and now the errors are reducing or if a new error arise up i know how to fix it so this all section is allow you to monitor your website health and security or technical uh, problems within your website.